I want to give you guys a quick speed run on PLTR. We're looking at this one on a technical level and we'll talk about why it may have dropped by 3.23% today so far. If it sounds like a good video, of course, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. But do remember, this is not financial advice. So first things first, we're down by 3% so far, roughly. Why may this be? Well, I think it's clear to a lot of you guys now, the markets as a whole are declining significantly today. We're seeing a lot of our favorite stocks down here be down. We're seeing a lot of stocks in the wider market be down. And this is, of course, because of fears of the new variant of COVID. Now, of course, I am not a financial advisor and I am certainly not a doctor. So I'm not here to give you my opinions on that. But it is looking like we do not have much data for it. And I think some people are fearful of a return back to lockdown and the consequences this could be having on our economy. I think this is sort of impacting the price of stocks today. Now, is this necessarily a bad thing? Not really. Again, is it the start of something bad? Of course it could be. But one thing that Warren Buffett does always say is when others are greedy, be fearful. And when others are fearful, be greedy. Now, like you said, I am not a financial advisor, and that is just a quotation from Warren Buffett, but I do think there is some truth in that, and again, whether we have found the bottom in this one right now is unclear. One thing is clear, though, and that is that $20 has been a very nice level of support for PLTR in the past. Now, like I said, are we going to drop below this? I think rather than company factors... In this instance, in my opinion, this is going to revolve around market factors in the next couple of days. That's just what I believe. But yeah, when we look into the past, we'll see this level of 20, which is this line down here. We're touching it today, of course, being just above it. Sat on 20 many times in the past, and we have actually managed to see a little bit of a bounce off that you know not too big we have managed to sustain ourselves once we drop down to that level and that becomes more clear in the five day you will see bounce back from that 20 mark just below it in the past so yeah it has been a very comfortable level uh in the very very near time period now will that remain to be the case going forwards into tomorrow well one thing that we can see is that we do appear to have found the bottom for today so far that could all change we do still have some time to go but yes we do appear to be quite flat so far since this drop which is a good sign and again come out to our one month again you will see some data from a few of our indicators and this can be quite useful uh, to predict what we may anticipate in the next couple of days now like i said i'm looking for wider market factors so i don't think these will play too much of a significance when we look at the indicators but for those of you who do want to look at them you will see we're looking at 31 for our rsi figure down here our trend for our macd is becoming bullish but that bullish pattern has kind of flattened out today and it has been starting to dry up for some time but yeah we are still looking quite negative because we are below the line but get above it and we're into more bullish territory and again, these lines are coming closer together, possibly looking to cross over. So like I said, our RSI is on 31. That's coming very close to oversold. Uh, it's a little bit low. You know, it's not really out of the ordinary levels. But bear in mind, 20 is going to be oversold. So 31, whilst it is fine, it is coming down there a bit. And like we said, our trend for our volume, very, very low as well. We've seen low volume figures. Our volume candles in the past you know, have been more significant. For example, if we look back to yesterday, we've seen slightly higher volume, but this is not necessarily extraordinarily low. It's just a little bit lower than what I would like to see. So going forwards, I'm watching this one very carefully. I'm watching the level of 20 for a key support. And again, if we break below that, well, I'll talk about that in another video. So I hope you did enjoy this short one. If you did, of course, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all again very soon. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon